Hey everybody, I'm Arbored Citizen. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to go over the basics of flight. So, I'm going to hop right into it. I'm in the Arena Commander, which is a simulation where nothing that you do matters. Uh, you can die, you can eject, you can crash your ship into whatever, and it won't affect you in the public universe. So to get into there, just click on Arena Commander and go into Drone Sim and Free Flight. So, alright, now that you're in here with me, um, let's talk about the basics. So I've spawned in and my ship might be different than yours. Um, I'm not going to talk about the HUDs because those are currently uh, under works, but I will talk about uh, just a couple things on them. So the first thing that you need to know is uh, the Z key. <laughs> Pressing the Z key. If you tap the Z key, it's going to free your mouse up and you won't be able to uh, control your ship with a mouse. Now, on that note, this is just mouse and keyboard. But uh, so if you find yourself looking around at your cockpit, unable to do anything with your mouse, press the Z key and then suddenly you'll be able to control your ship again. So anyway, Z key, Z key tapped. Another thing about that to know is that holding keys does different things than tapping keys. So keep that in mind. If you're getting a weird reaction to any particular key, um, try whatever you're not doing. If you're holding it, try tapping. If you're tapping, try holding. So anyway, without further ado, once uh, you can move your mouse around and your ship kind of reacts like I'm, uh, like it's reacting to me here, you're right along with me. So um, to explain things though, I'm going to go in and out of toggling that Z key. So right here, the lower left part of your little flight controls here is the SCM and pre mode toggle. So SCM, standard combat mode, that means that uh, that's just kind of your medium speed. That's what you're going to be spending most of your time flying in. Um, pre mode is precision mode, and that is more for the slower tasks such as landing. So for the sake of this tutorial and to help you uh, not to crash into so many rocks right off the bat, we're going to go into precision mode. Um, so to do that, you simply press the V key. Well, if you gotta go back into that. V key, there you go. So you can see them switching down there. SEM, pre. The one in the box is the one that's highlighted. So now it's gonna limit our speed to a max of uh, 50 meters per second. So, okay. Now that you're in precision mode, you have your controls down, um, we'll start with the throttle. So this is, uh, what throttle means is that whenever you up your throttle, it's going to continuously put that much um, speed into things. It's gonna continually put that much power into your thrusters. So if I go 100% throttle, so if I hold my W key down, it's gonna keep me going ahead at 100% throttle. So it will maintain that speed until I hit the S key and back it down to zero. Now the alternative to that would be um, the strafing forward and back. And that's kind of the same, but it just, all it really does is that um, by holding a modifier key, in this case, left alt, you can hold W and it'll speed you up, but it won't increase your throttle. And then when you let go, it'll automatically have your, uh, your throttle go to zero. So it's not really throttle, but it it's, acts exactly the same way. There's really no difference. Um, now, that being said, though, that turns the S key into your reverse. So by holding Alt and holding down the S key, you'll go in reverse all the way up to 50. So and then you can go back and yada, yada, yada. All right. So but for this, we'll just use the throttle. So going W all the way up to 100% throttle, it'll slowly gain in speed until it hits your top speed. And then holding down S will slowly lose speed until you get back to zero. Um, and actually, you don't have to hold it down. You'll see it go up to 100% and then down to zero. And as long as your throttle's at zero, it'll slow down whether your finger's on the key or not. OK, so next up is your strafe left and right. That's the A and D keys. Again, we're in precision mode, so it's going to go much, much slower and then your strafe up is the space bar. 
That's going to be the same for jumping. And strafe down is the left control button. All right. So next up, we have the roll, which is the Q and E buttons. Q will roll left, and E will roll right. And that's really all there is to it. So mess around with that a little bit. Fly yourself in a few circles. You know, you can fly like a plane if you want, or you can just stay up and down and, and never roll at all. Um, but get comfortable with it. Fly around the station a couple times in pre-mode. And once you're comfortable with, well, with it, you may want to pause the video here because we're going to move on. Once you're comfortable with it, go ahead and hit the V key and get yourself into SCM. Now be warned, when you hit SCM mode, you're going to go much, much faster. Now, really how much faster you would have been completely on your ship. So this particular ship goes 220, so it goes just over four times, four and a half times faster than uh, the other mode. So you can fly around, you can play with that. Remember, you're going to keep going forward. It's going to keep, you know, it slows you down a little bit on the corners because uh, your momentum is still carrying you and it has to catch up with that momentum. But it's going to keep speeding you up until it gets you to that full speed because your throttle is still at 100% until you back your throttle up using the S key and then it'll slow you back down and you can see it a lot more obvious now it's going to keep slowing me down as long as it's at zero and you can put the throttle at say 25 percent and just kind of cruise along at 50 miles per hour um, but uh, eventually you want it to you know eventually you'll want to do something else I'm sure unless you just like flying around at 50. so anyway the other things to know, some cool important keys now that you're going full speed. The backspace button will switch you automatically to 100% throttle and then hitting it again will switch you automatically right back to zero. And then the X key is the space brake. And so let's get ourselves back up to 100% and then we'll hit the space brake and it will fight that throttle and put the throttle back to zero anyway. But uh, the beauty of the space brake is that let's say you're you're flying around something, you can kind of use it like a handbrake. You're flying around something and you just you know you can't corner quite that tight. You can hit the space brake while maintaining 100% throttle, really make a tight turn, and then make your way through a hole takes a lot of practice. I've had quite a bit of practice, so I didn't hit that wall. You may hit that wall, <laughs> so be careful. Um, but basically, it will use um, it'll use your maneuvering thrusters on all sides of your ship to try to maintain exactly zero. So it'll, you know, fire stuff on the side to slow you from drifting. Um, so if you do have just forward movement, it's going to still apply forward uh, momentum, but it's going to slow you down on the right as well as slow you down forward. So it's very advantageous to use that a lot. The next higher end uh, flight mechanic thing is the shift key, which is your afterburner and boost. This will, so if you're turning, for instance, and you're just drifting too much, you can hit that shift key and it'll give you a little bit extra. In this case, I'm gonna blow up here. But it'll just give you that little bit of extra sometimes to uh, to get around a corner. That was a bit too tight. Um, but it's a really good thing to use. Now, what I did wrong in that and why I died is because there's two different types of boosts that you can use with that. The one I used was to get myself up to 100% faster. You can see how fast I just went up there. So let me show you normal and then one with boost. So just holding the shift key down just does a boost, which helps you get up to high to full speed faster. So we'll go, I'm going to hit the backspace to go 100% throttle, and then I'll hit the shift. Well, I'll just show you how slow we go up to it. So there's 100%. Right up to it, then back down. All right. Now 
with the shift key. It took maybe half as long to get there. You know, it's it's a small difference it seems, but it's actually a pretty big difference when you get into it. Now the next way is the afterburner. Now you'll notice um, that the afterburner uses fuel and so does the boost. And you'll find that fuel number right here. So if you've been looking at this 100% up here, this is your fuel. Now it'll restock itself as long as you're not using the afterburner or boost. It'll slowly go back up to 100% depending on um, your ship it'll go faster on some ships than others. So what the afterburner does is it raises your top speed so it puts a little bit of extra fuel. It's like having nitrous. It puts a little bit of extra fuel and this too is really good for getting you around corners. So you'll see how much better. I can almost stop myself completely with that boost and that is a double tap of the left shift so now the other thing it'll do is it'll give you an extra boost of speed so let's say you need to just get away from somebody or you want to catch up with somebody you can double tap the shift and it gives in this ship it gets me all the way up to 325 you do lose a little bit of control and you do uh, have a chance of blacking out if you do it too hard so you have gotta be careful with that I mostly just use it for turning because it allows you to uh, make much higher G turns. But again, you risk blacking out. So you got to be careful with that. All right. So that's, I think, about all I'm going to go into on this video. Um, there is some more advanced techniques. There's coupled and decoupled mode. There's ways of turning uh, G safe off, which. Uh, will allow you to turn sharper at the expense, at the expense of blacking out um, just normally. Um, uncoupled mode will treat you just like you're really in space. Coupled mode will um, apply, it'll, it'll kind of make it fly a little bit more like a plane um, in the sense that it will try to push you in the direction that you're pointing. So if you're turning around a corner slowly, it will always push you in the direction that you're going and it'll try to slow your movement in any other direction than you're pointing. Um, and then comms tab is a, uh, another option and that will, that will actually uh, slow your side to side movement more and it'll treat you even more like a plane. So it'll really just like do everything it can to keep you moving in one direction. If you're racing at all, you wanna get into comms tab mode. Um, to find out how to do those, since the keys are always changing, um, just go into the options and look at your key buttons. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Next video, I'll go over takeoff and landing. Hope I was a help. Remember, subscribe, leave a comment, and take it easy.